Hi, I'm David Hawkins, the senior editor at Roll Call, back for the second one of our hourly video uh, updates on the night and the race for Congress. An hour ago, we did an overview of the race for the Senate. Now we're here with Simone Pathé, who is going to be covering the race for control of the House to do a little lay of the land. Simone, we know that the election time is not really for control of the House. We are highly certain uh, that the Republicans are going to retain control of the House. The only question is how small their majority will shrink. Uh, right. So can you just sort of tell us why is that so in the big picture of things? Yeah, so let's remember the extent of the majority that they do have. They have 247 seats right now. That's the biggest majority in over 80 years. Um, for Democrats to retake the House, they'd have to pick up 30 seats as well as defend the seats that are competitive for them. And right now going into the night, uh, how many seats do we think the Republicans are sure of retaining? Um, so there are 40 competitive seats in total. I'd say Democrats will probably pick up somewhere between 8 and 12. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to see. <laughs> but the Republicans begin the night, I think, with some number like 213 seats where they are virtually assured Safer of winning at least 213 seats, mm -hmm. meaning that of those 40 that are left, they only have to win five or so right. to retain the majority. So you think you're predicting Democratic gains in the, in the high single digits to low double digits. Yes. Uh, and if, if you had a, an overall theme for this year, um, it's mostly Republicans running on defense, and right. why? So 33 of those seats are competitive for Republicans. That means they have to defend them. Only seven are potential pickup opportunities for them. Oh, wow. Of course, this year they've been on the defensive because of Donald Trump. The biggest takeaway I've seen so far is just how resilient down-ballot Republicans have been to Donald Trump. Resilient and resistant or not so resistant? Uh, not resistant yet. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> They've been able to ward him off and they, right. and they, and many Republican candidates running away from him. Yes. Yes. Uh, very few Republicans running. Very few embracing him. Embracing him. him. Uh, if, if the next time we are on, uh, the polls will have closed. Uh, the first state you'll be watching is what? Virginia. Um, Virginia 10 is one of those highly educated suburban districts. It has the highest median income in the country. Uh, not Trump country by any means. We'll be able to t see if that has a down ballot effect on Barbara Comstock. Barbara Comstock, first term member running against Luann Bennett, a Democrat who had, uh, is a real estate developer who's never held public office before, I don't think. She has not. Her right. ex-husband has, though, former Congressman James Moran. All Virginia. right. That's going to be a good one. We will be we will be back in an hour to find out uh, what we know about that one and some others. For now, Simone Pathé uh, covering the House races. I'm David Hawkins, the senior editor at Roll Call. We'll be back in an hour to check in on the Senate.